Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, and even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I do hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And if you're already subscribed, as always, thank you so much for being here and welcome back. Today I've got one of my favorite subscriptions to share with you and that is because it is a beach themed subscription. I love to get and feature beach themed subscriptions here on the channel because they speak to my lifestyle and my aesthetic as someone who grew up in Hawaii and who lives in Southern California and currently Life's a Wave is my favorite monthly beach themed subscription. It is a little bit pricey in terms of my personal budget which most of you already know is between 30 and 40 dollars per month whether it is monthly, bi-monthly, or seasonal. Life's a wave is actually $49.95 per month plus $7.95 in shipping but if you would like to try it out you can use my code which is Maui Noel 10 and I'll actually leave that link for you below and you can save 10% on your subscription so good way to try it out I think you will love the presentation I think she does some of the best uh, presentation out of any of the boxes that I receive and despite the price just remember that this is a small business they're supporting other small businesses they are not making a ton of money on this box this is one of those companies where it's really a labor of love so I'm happy to support them and see where it goes you're definitely gonna get your values worth but probably not much more than that so if you come in to it with that expectation I think you will really really enjoy life's wave so let's get into it this month in particular is pretty hefty and very very full so it usually takes me a little while because of the presentation there's always like a little treat on top and all kinds of little like shells or extra decorations decorations. So inside we just have the little Life's a Wave sticker and some blue tissue paper and I can already see all that shred, those foozles kind of peeking out. I was just thinking about the name of this box, Life's a Wave, and that is absolutely true, is it not, that like there's so many ups and downs, and sometimes just like if you're surfing, like a wave can be so much fun, so exhilarating, and then sometimes it can really show its power and knock you silly. So let me know what kind of wave you guys feel like you're riding right now. I feel like a lot of us are kind of learning how to duck dive some things. All right, so inside we've got all kinds of things telling us all about everything that's in the box. They always have like a lot of inserts. I feel like we could kind of reduce some of those because one of them, for example, is always telling us that they use eco-friendly packaging. So I probably don't need that every single time. I also have, it looks like a coupon code for one of the vendors that's in here. We also always get this little uh, vinyl sticker from Life's Wave. I have a ton of these, don't necessarily need them, but it is kind of a nice little add-on, I guess, if it's one of your first boxes. Um, and then I've got a few more sheets. Let me just kind of move everything around. It looks that they are supporting the Ocean Conservancy this month, which it says the mission of the Ocean Conservancy is working with you to protect the ocean from today's global challenges. Together we create science-based solutions for a healthy ocean and the wildlife and the communities that depend on it. So that is cool to see. And then I always get a little like handwritten note, so they kind of like add some hand handwriting there. It says, hi, our favorite mermaid, Noelle. Happy summer and stay cool. Love, love your mermaid sisters. And then we always have like, of course, the little welcome insert, which again is something that I don't necessarily need to get every single month, but I appreciate it. And this is a good example of what you guys would receive if it is your first month. And then we actually have the theme of the box. So it's always like the theme beach, right? So we had like a quarantine beach a couple of months ago. This time it is the summer fun beach box, right? So that's pretty general. And then it does tell us just a little bit about the different items in here. It doesn't give us the retail values. You guys know that I love retail values, even in the smaller subscriptions, just so you really do feel like you're getting your, your money's worth for sure. And you can kind of see where the weight of the box is in terms of value. Um, and they do kind of write it in like this like paragraph form, which some subscription boxes do. So it does make it a little bit tricky sometimes for me to make sure I'm getting all of the items. So I'm just going to set this up in front of me to make sure that I can tell you all about all of the fun things in here. So this is something that they had discontinued in uh, a pr the last box that I got, but a lot of the times they'll actually print out a photograph um, and make it into a little greeting card, which 
I, I appreciate, I hope that it's not like adding a lot of value to the to the box because usually these are these are just like from um, like Unsplash or some sort of like stock photography. And unfortunately, because this box is so full and there were some hard things underneath it, mine got a little bit dented at the top, which you wouldn't necessarily know. And I can probably flatten it out pretty good, but it is a really pretty image and it is nice and glossy. Like I said, they print it out like a photograph. We've got that little heart drawn in the sand and then they've kind of personalized it there with the life so wave branding on the back and then it's just blank on the inside so these are definitely useful to have nice blank cards um, that you can use for anything but like I said I'm hoping that it's not like adding a ton of value to the box I'd rather have it go towards something else um, but here we go so now I can show you the presentation I've been talking so much about Nestled inside of the Foozles, there's usually some kind of candy. We've gotten like toffee before, we've gotten little hard candies, we've gotten chocolate um, coins, and this time it looks like some butterscotch, and then you can also see there's all kinds of shells in there. So I've been collecting all the shells and putting them into this nice jar with a, with a lid, um, and I think that's a good way to display it. Eventually I might kind of add to that and do like some sand art and layers and things, but these are fun. So there's a bunch of little cowrie shells which these are the little cowrie shells right that look like this on the bottom and uh, this almost looks like uh, little cowrie shells from like a, a shell necklace that you might get in Hawaii uh, and then we've got a couple of these like cowrie shells these augers or sorry auger shells which are cool um, these ones I don't necessarily know exactly which kind of shell this is but I know that when I when I was a little kid we actually got told to steer clear of those just in case they still had some inhabitants because some of them have like a pretty pretty gnarly little stinger that can come out and get you so here we go here's some more shells so if you're a shell collector um, this is definitely a fun box to get because we've gotten shells we've gotten sea glass um, if you have like a beach themed home or even just a room uh, you definitely will get some fun decor items just as the decorations that come in life's a wave so I do kind of think that that counts as part of the value and curation of the box, certainly. Although it's kind of, you know, it just depends what your opinion about it is. Would you rather have all of these fun decorations and the little sweet treats and like this little greeting card that they put together for us? Or would you like to have like one more small item in your box? Um, it always depends. This depends on what what you find more more useful. But so far, because I've finally kind of found a way to to display them, I'm I'm really enjoying all the fun things that we get, and it's always fun to see what the next month brings. So let me just move some of these foozles off to the side and make a big mess in my office, which is what always happens whenever I unbox things. So I know one of the things in here I did see a spoiler for it, but I love there's lots of little things that are kind of packaged up separately. So let me just go ahead and get to the, the thing that I, that I did see as a spoiler. So this is kind of fun. It is a tiki toss hook and ring game and it comes in this little box and you can kind of see it's shaped almost like a surfboard or a skimboard more and it's wood and then I love that it's got this like kind of fun funky um, painting on it and then it looks like the directions on the back. So you like you put the board on a wall and then it's got like the the hook and a string and then you like toss the ring to try to hook it on the board so it's kind of a fun like outdoor game or if you have lots of space in your house it could be good in your like sunroom or out by the pool or something I think would be really fun but I like that it's really small and it seems pretty easy so it's made out of bamboo which is great so you can kind of see in this little picture right so it's got like the little board and you mount that on the wall and then there's a hook that comes out of it and then there's like a long string with the 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 loop and you try to toss that over and get it to hook on. So almost like, you know, when you used to be like riding the carousel, but in reverse, instead of taking the ring down, you're, you're putting the ring back onto the hook. So let's see what it says about this. Have fun, fun, fun with this bamboo shortboard flower child tiki toss game. You will get hooked playing it. We love supporting local Santa Barbara company Tiki Toss. The artwork on this game is painted by the owner's teenage daughter, that's awesome, and released to our mermaids first. So it's kind of a little exclusive release, that's cool. It says go to playtikitoss.com and check out their other games. And if you want to buy more, use promo code mermaid20 to get 20% off your 
purchase. So what a cool little item. I think that makes it even cooler that it is painted by the owner's daughter and I do actually really love it. I think it's so, so cool. Like I'm looking right above my desk. We actually have a friend of ours who is a really talented artist and woodworker and he has like similar art and it's got like a, it's on a skateboard deck and it's got kind of the same kind of fun vibes and colors and I could see this going really well next to it. Although I wouldn't want to mess up the original artwork, but it is kind of in our, in our, our sort of like style profile in terms of something that I think maybe would be fun to put out on the deck and maybe one day when we have friends over <laughs> we can actually play it so that's a fun item I'm happy that we got that so now let's get into some of the items that I don't necessarily know about for example this little little tied up guy so this is Oh cool, so this is another item from Surf's Up and we've gotten different items from them before. Like I know we got a candle once and again, I love the artwork on it. It is Surf's Up Surf Wax Hand Sanitizer in a little spray bottle with a little like Woody there on the side and a sunset and a girl with her board and her sort of like vintage style bikini. So that is super cool. Um, this is from Surf's Up Candle and let's see, I'm just gonna smell it and see what it smells like. So it's definitely, it smells like, it smells like a pina colada. It smells like something you'd want to drink actually, but don't do that. It's got ethanol, glycerin, and hydrogen peroxide in it. Let's see what it says. It says, as we're all easing back to the new normal, all mermaids must have some amazing smelling hand sanitizer made by the cool company, Surf's Up. So definitely in uh, the Life's a Wave sort of theming, love having a little easy to carry hand sanitizer, love that it smells good um, but this would definitely be great to have in the car or any purse and now I've actually like collected a lot and gotten a lot in different boxes so I, I do I have like one by the door I have one in my car I have in various purses that I grab I've got some which is great I think it's awesome okay so the next item I'm seeing is adorable and it is so so cute this look almost looks like something you would get from like Puerto Vida which I love just because they have a lot of beachy fun jewelry um, lately the jewelry we've been getting in life so wave is really great we just recently got a little like silver like wire wrap ring which I love and this is totally my style but it is just a simple simple little pendant with a wave design so let me get that to be still so that you you guys can see it so cute I love that it came with the chain that's one of my pet peeves when they send you just the pendant and then you have to find the chain for it so I am so excited to have this I'm gonna just go ahead and take it off the card so it looks like it was like made for life's away because it's just a super plain car there's no branding on it and then they just put a life's away sticker there so we'll have to read about this but I love the length of it it doesn't look like it's adjustable which is a little bit of a bummer, but um, that's okay because of course you could always put it on your own chain if you did want to. But I love that simple wave design. Definitely something that goes with uh, what I would wear here in Southern California. So let's see what it says about that. Um, where is this? It says, wear this dainty sterling silver life's a wave necklace made especially for our mermaids while you're having summer fun. So I don't know who made it for them, but I think it's really cool. I probably won't be able to get this on because the little, the hook is really small, but let's see. So it doesn't go with my big gold pineapple earrings that I'm wearing, but oh, that's a pretty good length actually. And you could definitely layer this. And I love how like dainty and simple it is. So definitely another win, life's a wave. Love this little item, super happy to have it. Let's keep going. This is a really great box so far. And then this is um, nice and heavy. And look, I just, again, I love that they like packaged everything up like a little gift. Not everything, but a lot of the items, um, probably just to keep them safe, but also it's just part of the fun of opening everything up. Um, so beautiful jewelry, something like really useful. Uh, we got like the fun game, which is really unique and supporting a small local business. And then this, oh my gosh, wow. Well, you guys know that I love edible treats. Um, I also absolutely love ice cream. This is a New England sea salt hot fudge. Yep. Um, so it says that it's from Newport, Rhode Island. It is a big jar. Oh my gosh. It looks so good. I almost want to just take a spoon to it. Awesome. 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 Let's see what it says about this. 
So, where is it? Ice cream hot fudge sundaes is the best treat for all mermaids during a hot summer day. Enjoy your 10 ounce yummy jar of Belgian chocolate sea salt hot fudge. We loved collaborating and supporting small business New England Hot Fudge Company. So that is awesome. Again, supporting another small business. I love, love, love that. Awesome amount of it too. So this is not like just like hey, you can put a little bit on one little tiny scoop of ice cream. This is gonna last for a little while. My husband and I support a gelato shop that's like a couple blocks down, and I think this would be delicious. It's also gluten-free, which is cool. Um, and it's made with local farm fresh cream and butter. Um, should we read the nutrition facts? Probably not. It does say that the servings per container is 12, so that's not bad. Like. I mean, divided over 12 different uh, servings of ice cream, that's pretty good. And it's only 156 calories on top of the ice cream that you're having, on top of whatever meal you had before your ice cream. Um, I'm very excited about that. I love when there's that little hint of salt in chocolate just because it, it gives you that extra bit of flavor and zest. So that's awesome. And then it looks like we have one more item. It does talk about that, that beautiful photograph card. It says a gorgeous handmade beachy card made for you to send family and friends or frame and hang in your home. There have been some really nice images. This, this one is a really pretty one. So, and then let's see what this is. It looks like may, maybe a scarf. Let's see. It says, oh, a beautiful flowy beachy kimono from Top It Off to wear when you go to the beach, wear out casually or dress it up on these incredible summer evenings. I think we've gotten some things from Top It Off in um, Good Vibe Scribe, which can sometimes kind of have like a beachy vibe too. Uh, I think I'm gonna like this, you guys, because it's got pineapples on it. And in case you didn't know, I like pineapples a lot, like a lot. I It was kind of the unofficial theme of my wedding, but before I open this kimono up, let me just show you the print. How fun and springy is that? We've got pineapples, we've got some fern fronds. Um, I love that it's actually kind of simple and doesn't have like a lot of tassels. A lot of the like kimonos and beach cover-ups that we've been getting have had a lot of tassels and extra, and I kind of like having something a little bit more simple. So let me see if I can figure out how this works. So there's there's one armhole <laughs> and here is another one. Oh, we've actually got the tag it does say it's one size fits all but um in the Beachly box that I just recently opened they had this really cute uh tunic kind of cover up but it was a one size fits all and I felt like that might not actually work for every single mermaid but this because it is an open kimono I do think it's nice and flowy and that probably will work for everyone so let me just See if I can slip it on. I'm, I love boxes where I get to put lots of things on like, like jewelry and kimonos and hats and all the things. So hopefully I won't like rip it as I put it on. So you can kind of see here along the side, it is pretty like split. So again, it has a lot of space for you. It's gonna have that really flowy effect. Gotta get my ruffles under. So I think this is pretty cute. It's not like a color that I would normally pick, but as we say so often when it comes to all of these fun accessories and like kimono style things, it would look great with jeans and a white tank top. I'm like on the hunt for like the perfect white tank top because now I have so many beautiful kimonos um, in different colors and I don't have that, you know, supposedly very versatile white tank top to go with everything. But this is awesome and it's really lightweight, really flowy, um, not super wrinkly. It's the kind of thing where I feel like it kind of warms up to the body and then those wrinkles will just kind of fall out. But I actually think this is so, so pretty. Um, and you could definitely wear it, not just, just just to the beach, right? You could definitely wear this out just to kind of cover your shoulders and give you a little bit of extra um, warmth or protection if you need it. Great box again by Life's a Wave. I definitely think, you guys, the value is here between the game and the hand sanitizer, the giant jar of fudge, the super cute kimono, this beautiful little necklace. Absolutely love everything in it this time. Let me know what your favorite item is. If you like this video, you guys, if you like any of my videos, I would really, really appreciate a thumbs up, and hopefully I'll see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.